What's going on guys? In this video, I'm going to be sharing with you what I believe to be the best gun bunch in Madden 22. I think this is going to be the best play from gun bunch. I think there's a, several reasons as to why um, that we're going to jump right into the video. Now, if you're new to the channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button. I will be going live with Madden 22 content tonight. Uh, Madden 22 is coming out. Now, I'm on Next Gen 21, but I've been watching some film on YouTube and Twitch of players who have already got the game, and this is content that is going to actually apply to Madden 22. So trust me on this. This has already been battle tested. This will work in 22. It's a concept out of the New England Gun Bunch. Not very many people run the New England Gun Bunch, but we're going to show you why the New England Gun Bunch might just be the best gun bunch in Madden 22. Now, before you, uh, uh, before we get into that, I want to let you know about my text message membership. My text message membership is something that I do completely for free for my YouTube members. All you have to do to sign up for it is simply text the word Madden to 208-218-6900. It's a completely free service that I offer. And what we do is every single weekend, we release new offenses and defensive schemes completely for free to you. So these will be like one hour breakdowns on the New England Bunch or one hour breakdown on the Seattle Bunch tight end or an hour breakdown on the Colts Bunch Y Flex. That's what we release every single week. We do offense and defense as well. So you'll get Big New Clover G. You'll get 335Y, uh, 335, Dime 146, 245 Odd. All of that stuff that is really good, we release those for free every single week to my text message members. All you got to do to sign up is text the word MADDEN to 208-218-6900. That number is also in the description. Now, the play I want to go over is Pat Sale. And the reason why I think this is going to be the best play in Madden 22 is because Skinny Post, and let me show you an example of what I'm talking about. If I can find it in here, I might not have it in this playbook. I don't think I do. I'll show you what I'm talking about when we get on the field. Okay, so just pick Pat Sale. And as a general rule, you want to run with your bunch to the wide side of the field. So as you see here, the ball's on the left hash. If the ball was on the right hash, we would just flip everything that we're doing. But this is a really good beater. It's, it'll beat every single coverage. It doesn't matter what coverage they run. This play will beat it. And there's one adjustment that I like, and I cannot stress to you how important it is that you understand this first adjustment. This is a huge, huge tip. Please understand this. I cannot I plead with you enough to watch this because this one route right here, is the best route in the game that I've found so far. All you're going to do is put the running back on a table route. What you're going to see here is when he cuts to the outside, that linebacker will never react to the ball. And as you can see, you're always going to be able to get seven yards. This is going to force them to have to use her the most underneath route on the entire play and the route that they definitely don't want to have to use her. The short side running back table route, I believe, is the best route. I believe it's worth having Hot Route Master. I would actually rather play with the Bucks and Regs than, um, than with the Packers. And the number one reason why is because this running back little uh, flat route right there, table route, is really good. It's good from every formation in the game. It's especially good from trips and bunch because of the way the formation works. Okay? So just put the running back on a table route. That's honestly all you need to do. The one thing I would tell you that I would like to see people do more of, though, is I love to put the circle receiver, um, the X receiver, which is the tight end, on a drag, and the circle receiver on a in route. The reason why I like those hot routes is because it makes this a very good little high-low read. This was a very good play years ago. As you see, it's been good every year, but it's really, really good this year. And I'm going to show you why. So if I put this square receiver on a... You, a skinny post, you take a look, you see what it is. See how this post is super um, long develop, long developing, right? So if they run cover three and they have this guy out here like this, that skinny post is going to get typically boxed by the deep third. The reason why this is such a good play this year is because the deep third will not guard this short post to Mike Evans. If I put him on a skinny post, I want to show you one more time. I'm just going to put him on a skinny post. I want you to watch that route. You're going to see here that that player has a chance, and as you can see, he picks the ball off. This is also why a lot of people have been talking about the fact that cover three Mabel is not going to be good anymore. Cover three is gone. It's not going to be a good defense. Trust me when I tell you this defense is still going to be very, very good because they have a yellow zone on the right side. They just have to use her basically from the numbers to the right side hash mark with their user. Okay? So this Pat Sale post route, if you take a look at this, um, you're going to see this is a very sharp cut. It's going to beat man. It's also going to beat zone, and it's going to get just in a really unique position on that left side of the field. It's going to force your opponent to have to use or guard that route on both sides of the field. I'm going to show you what I'm talking about in just a second. All we're going to do here is we're just going to drag the circle receiver, and we're going to max protect just to give us a little bit of time, and I want you to watch this post route. So if we watch this post route, you're going to see it's going to drag across, 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 and if you take a look at this, 
It actually can get over the top of a cover three defense. The one thing I would tell you to do is if you have time in the pocket or if you have time to play play call menu to make this adjustment, just take the R1 and put him on a streak as opposed to that fade. The reason why I like to do that is just helps the space and you got the drag as you're basically your check down. But watch this, watch this square receiver. Watch him just get open over the cover three. This is why this play is so special. This play this year might be the best play from Gun Bunch in the game. The reason why is because that post route is darn near impossible to stop with zone drops in next gen Madden. In current gen Madden, this was not that great of a play. It was an average play at best. In next gen Madden, this is going to be really good. So I like to smart route the route. Um, but if you take a look at this, you take a look at the smart routing. Um, it's not going to necessarily help or hurt us. You don't have to. Um, but again, I just want to show you this route. So again, I'm just kind of getting some time in the pocket. But watch, if I wait on this, look at where this ball gets to. Look at that right there on the sideline. Easy dot over the top of the defense. This forces your opponent to have to use her that route all the way across the formation. And the reason that that matters is because you can throw, you can actually leverage the power of the seam, um, this little C route right here. This C route is really glitchy. Like it's really, really glitchy. It's really good against curl flat zones. Um, it's really good against pretty much any cover three zone. You're going to have a lot of success with this um, with this uh, C route. If you want to, if you want to use the C route, uh, my advice to you would be to go ahead and put the tight end on a drag and do something like that. Um, this is a really good route. Watch the C route just isolate itself, get wide open on the sideline. Regardless of that cover three coverage, it does nothing to stop the C route. Motioned out C routes this year are going to be really, really good. The post route is going to be really good. And honestly, this game is reflecting mo much, much more of Madden 19 vibes, at least on the offensive side, in my personal opinion. I think you're going to have corner strike and this Pat Sale play are going to be really cornerstones of effective offenses. But don't sleep on that Pat's post. Uh, it's really, really good. And again, I really want to reiterate, please throw this table route if they blitz you it's so wide open it's such an easy read um and i like to have this always at my disposal because if i get a blitz off that outside i'm throwing that instantly and i'm taking my five yards every single time um if you don't have a, a if you don't have the ability to put your running back on a table route i want to show you what's going to happen if you use a wheel route um they'll never pick the wheel route off it's actually a unique thing you, you don't see a lot of interceptions on wheel routes from zone the problem really becomes where we try to do this if it's man to man. So here, if you watch him, take a look at this man. You see that he can swap that. If it's man coverage on um, the previous play that we were talking about, the table route, man coverage will never stop it. It's always a step behind against this table route. So that's personally why I prefer the table route. I'm trying to do everything in my power to communicate to you guys. If you want to get really good at batting 22, you have to master the art of that table route. That table route is so important, and I really can't stress that enough. Now, against man coverage, real quick, another thing that you can put in your arsenal um, is your tight end on this little quick five-yard out. This five-yard out route is really, really good against man. It's actually better than it's ever been. As you can see right there, that's about – uh, 30 yards that we got on a five yard out route against man to man. So please don't sleep on the five yard out route. Um, the five yard in route to the tight end is actually something that's really good this year as well. Let me show you the C route. You see here when he got space to work, he's going to kill man coverage. And then the one last thing I want to say about man to man uh, coverage in particular is this Pat Sell post absolutely kills man coverage. Uh, you'll see here he cuts underneath it, gets separation every single time, and you're going to get that nice little secure catch. So if you're wanting to run Gun Bunch, please try Seattle out. But if you if you want something different, New England's Gun Bunch is really, really, really good. And I think it's right there with Seattle um, because the New England Gun Bunch has another play that we haven't talked about yet. And that is, and let me just let me just back out of here and grab the play so I can just spend just a, a, a small, small segment of, uh, in this video on this. But this is another thing that was really good in Madden 19 that is going to, I think, make a comeback in Madden 20, uh, in Madden 22. Uh, and that's to play curl flat out of gun bunch. Now, it's not just out of this formation, which is nice. They've added this to a few other uh, bunches. But all we're going to do is we're just going to strict the circle receiver. I like to put the table route out there. And then you could, I would just leave the curl route. Another route that I really like is a smart run out route. We'll get back to that in another video. But let's just watch this against this cover three. Watch the R1 receiver get wide open. It does not matter what defense they run. He's getting wide open over the top. And that's going to get over the top of a cover three. 
especially the way that Cover 3 is made this year. Uh, one of the things that you might not know in here, I'm going to put uh, seam flats out there, and I'm also going to put some cloud flats. One of the things you might not know about how Cover 3 works in Madden 22 is Cover 3 is not going to be as susceptible to like one play touchdowns, but the corner routes are going to get wide open, especially if you roll it with the quarterback. But watch this guy. There's no one. There's no one with even close to this guy. It's wide open every single time, and that's why I like this play so much. Um, let me go over cover four quarters just so you can get a look at cover four quarters um, on next gen. Just want to show you. Um, you'll see here that the corner route does get taken. But look at this right here. This is really important. This was not something that worked um, in last year's game. But if they run Tampa 2, watch the R1 receiver get over the top of that cloud. There's no chance for that cloud flat to get back there. It's an absolute laser. And then the last thing that I wanted to show was man bump. And the reason I wanted to show man bump so bad was again, I just want you to watch how this guy, he rounds out and gets separation, even though the corner and, and the way separation works in Madden 22, this is why flood, if you, if you guys know the play flood from gun bunch, this is going to be another good play this year. Um, because if you watch how the separation works, it really rounds out separation. Now, right here, the man coverage actually stuck with them pretty good on this play, but it's not, again, really important distinction. Curl flat is more of a zone beater, but I do want to really hit home that it can beat man. And then another little trick you can do is this little five yard out circle. Watch this route just kill man coverage. Easy read for you. So you have really some very cool ways, in my opinion, to attack the cover four and to attack the cover three. This motion out route will absolutely obliterate cover four. Look at that. It's a one play touchdown pretty much every single time. As long as Brady doesn't underthrow him by five yards, it's a one play touchdown every single time against cover four. The thing that I didn't hit on is that this out route to circle this year, this was something that was really effective. And I think in Madden 25, watch this out cut, just kill man coverage for a quick little dot of about five yards. That is so underrated. People don't realize how powerful that is um, because of the fact that it gives you so much opportunity from a snap throw perspective now in Gun Bunch. That out route being able to beat man-to-man, -man, watch what I can do now as a zone beater. I got my quarters beater now, and then I've also got that out route there. Look at that, and then now I can still hit this R1 corner against cover three zone. So this beats every coverage. This combined with Pat Sale, uh, combined with some of the other things you can do from Gun Bunch this year, it's really tough to stop it. So if you want to learn more about the Gun Bunch or if you want to watch the stream, be sure to subscribe. I'm going to be going live later tonight, so stay tuned uh, to the channel. And if you've not signed up for the text message membership, I'll be releasing free schemes throughout the season uh, pretty much every single week. All you have to do to sign up is text the word MADDEN to 208-218-6900. Thanks for your time. I hope you enjoyed the video. And if again, if you want to sign up for those free schemes, Text the word Madden to the number that is in the description. I put that number down below for you.